This time on Scott's Garage, we're gonna cook a hot dog using a technique I got from a science book when I was in grade school. Hello and welcome to Scott's Garage. It's kind of a simulcast between Scott's Garage and Scott's Kitchen because it's lunchtime, I'm hungry, and we're gonna make lunch. But what we're gonna do is something a little different, sort of a garage project. Now we have to tell you a story first. When I was probably nine or 10 years old, many years ago, probably more than 50 years ago now, I was in grade school as I should be and I checked out a science book from the library, which I, I, I like science, so I used to check those books out. Took it home and in the science book it had an experiment you could do cooking a hot dog. And so we're gonna recreate that right now. Um, it's very unsafe, I hope they took that I hope they took that book off the shelf. Uh, we were cooking it out in the backyard, me and a friend. We made this and we cooked it in the backyard. And my mom came home and saw what we were doing and she almost flipped out. She actually did flip out. And we got in big trouble for doing this and were forbidden from, forbade from doing this ever again. I think the statute of, limit, statue, statute of limitations has run out on this. So I think we can do this. But... This was a real experiment in the, it had a, it was a, a book I checked out of the library and it had real experiments that you could do at home, you know, making a, a boat that would f go across the sink. And it was like, had wind up things with rubber bands and soap and you put things in there. And then it had this one where you cooked a hot dog. So I'm going to, I'm not going to tell you what we're going to do. We're just going to do it. We have some weird stuff, a piece of wood, a couple of nails, a plug, and then we have our food components, some hot dogs, buns, and mustard. Acetone, because I'm going to clean that off. Okay, so let's get started and see how this works. All right, so I really wish that I could find that book. I don't know if I can do a little bit of research and uh, find that science book. It probably went out of print, I would imagine. <laughs> and the publishers probably got sued, and uh, it was probably a big, messy a uh, legal case, I would imagine, where kids uh, electrocuted themselves. Um, <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I'll do a little bit of research, and if I can find, if I can find the uh, science book, then I will put that in there. But I don't. I bet it's not there anymore. Okay, so we have a piece of wood, which this is kind of our insulator, and luckily this piece has a couple of holes already drilled in it. Um, I don't know if this is going to be. No. Oh, we probably need these two holes, huh? Okay, so let's use these two holes for our hot dog. If we just put this here and this here, and then let me get a hammer. Okay, so if we just... All right. Cool. Now let's prepare our wire. Yeah, so I, I checked I checked the book out of the library and I thought, this is cool, I wanna do this at home. And so me and my friend, of course we had hot dogs back in those days because that's what people mostly ate was hot dogs. And uh, we had, we got a piece of wood and a hammer and some nails and uh, we just had a good old time with this. even though it's very, very, very dangerous. So then we take the one and wrap this around here like that. Take this one, wrap it around here like this. <laughs> right about now you're going, no. No, <laughs> I'm even nervous about doing this, and uh, I'm an adult. Think about if you're like nine or ten years old, what what do you, what's going on here? So I'm gonna tape this down here too. I don't think I did this part. 
I think we just twisted them and thought, ah, oh, that's good enough. All right, so then where I'm going to plug this into is down below there I have a power strip with a switch on it. And so I'm going to plug it in there with the switch off. And it does have a, if you look down below here, it has a switch and it has a breaker built into it. So that's going to be really handy for what we want to do. All right, so we have this here. So what this is going to do is going to electrify the two, positive and negative, and then the hot dog has um, has salt and water in it, which uh, will conduct electricity. And so when I flip that switch over here, hopefully nothing happens. Okay. Well, let's get the... Uh, Let's get the meter on that and see what the meter says. We could, we've got switch on, AC, and this is hovering around 110 to 113 volts, something like that. AC volts. Okay, so we definitely have something going on there. All right, let's turn off the switch. Put on our hot dog. And I think here goes nothing. <laughs> okay, are we ready? Eh? That's that's it? It only does hot dogs? No, and a not hot dog. Hot dog cooking on two nails. Three, two, one. Now when I was a kid and we did this, it started like frying right away and it cooked really good. This, I don't see it doing anything. Woo! Give me more! I want more! <laughs> oh, wow. Can you hear that? Oh, wow, it's cooking! <laughs> Oh my God, that's so cool. I didn't think that would work. It's actually cooking. <laughs> I don't know how long to keep it on there for. Let's put the bun on there too. Try not to touch. I think that means it's done. Heat up our bun a little bit, okay. Ooh, smells like burnt hair. Okay, so I'm gonna turn off the electricity, unplug it, take our thing out of the way, our scary ass thing. <laughs> and I suppose I could take this off of here, right? So the ends are cold. But the middle is because it only it only heated like the the section from here to here, so the end is cold still, but the middle is hot. Uh, okay, so not the best, not the best thing, but hey, it cooked it. All right, lunch time. Okay, so this is definitely under the category of don't try this at home. Our cooked hot dog with electricity. Looks like there's a little bit of meat left on there. I'm definitely going to get rid of this when I'm done. And we're never doing that again. Okay, let's try it. Lunch time. Hmm. Well, it's not the best hot dog I've ever had. Like I said, the end was kind of cold. Mmm. Well, that's pretty good. The middle of it is good where it was, where it cooked in the middle. That's actually pretty good.
<laughs> well, there I go, recreating a scientific experiment I did more than 50 years ago. Got in big trouble for. I don't think I'm going to be getting tr in trouble for this one. Um, but it's a great way to... No, it isn't. It's a terrible way to cook a hot dog. <laughs> I don't recommend it. I don't suggest it, but it does work. If you're out in the garage, you got two nails and a cord and a piece of wood, you can uh, cook your hot dogs. Mmm. That really works in the middle. That works great. <laughs> Let's cook another one. That was pretty fun. Uh-oh. We have a broken one. Hope this still works. Let's break this off. It takes a while. It, it doesn't feel like anything's happening. And then all of a sudden it starts bubbling like right here. The juices start heating up. It's gonna blow! <laughs> Oh, that thing is really cooking. Look at that. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> oh, my God, that's so dumb. I think when it gets done spitting and... I don't know. This reminds me of my... Um, this air steamer project. Hey, ow. Okay. That's really good. That's a cooked hot dog. Hmm. Hmm. Not too bad, that's fun. <laughs> All right, get rid of this. It's dangerous. Well, that was really fun. I hope you had a good time watching me do that. And uh, please do not do that at home. <laughs> that's incredibly dangerous. You're gonna electrocute yourself and probably die. So don't do that, just cook your hot dogs the old way. Uh, but I hope you had fun watching me do it and had a great time doing this. I'll see you next time on Scott's Garage. Thanks for watching.